In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your App Store listings. These are This is like where you put the description of your app, the name of it, the app ID, the screenshots, privacy policy, categories, things like that. So that it's when it's displayed on the App Store, people can find it and you can also update it as necessary. So the first thing you're going to do for iOS is log into appstoreconnect.apple.com. You're going to want to make sure that your developer uh, your developer account is paid for and approved and also if you've accepted any of their agreements. If you are doing in-app purchases in your app, you'll need to fill out all of the tax and banking um, information and make sure that that's all good to go. So then you can go to the um, to go to my apps and then click on new app. And then you're going to choose platform is iOS. You're going to say, you're going to give it a name, choose a primary language, and a bundle ID. So the bundle ID is going to be, if you go to your app presser settings, and you go to the app customizer, visit the settings tab, and then scroll down a little bit, you're going to see some of your app store information. So app name, app ID. This is the one you'll just, this is the most important one. You want to make sure this stays consistent. You don't change it. And you can also add in description, version, URL, author URL, things like that. Um, and so this is the app ID. So when you go into your app store listing, you'll just want to make sure that you choose the correct app ID. SKU is optional. It is only for your uh, information, for your inventory purposes. And then for user access, you'll just want to choose the correct um, one. You'll want to probably give full access, but you can choose that as needed. So once you get to this screen, you're just going to want to fill out all the fields, give it a privacy policy URL. Um, you are going to want to choose the categories for whatever your app is. And then you're going to save that there. Then you'll go to pricing and availability. And this is most apps are free. And even if you have in-app purchases, you still want to uh, let people download it for free. But if you decide to charge, you can add a price there. And then the available countries, you'll probably want all countries. But that's up to you. And then business and education, you can change those fields if needed. Then under, click under the iOS app where it says prepare for submission. Here's where you can upload some screenshots. And we have documentation on how to do screenshots. You can, um, you can upload one set of screenshots for the iPhone 6.5 inch display and it will use them for all the other sizes. Same with the iPad Pro, you basically do the biggest ones and it uh, sizes those down for all the other sizes. You can add some promotional text Keywords are pretty important. Make sure people can find your app in the App Store search. Uh, fill out your URLs. The build is what will automatically be submitted through AppPressor, so you don't need to worry about that part. Choose your App Store icon, which has to be 1024 by 1024. It's the same one that you uploaded to uh, AppPressor right here, this app icon. Uh, make sure that your version matches the version that you have in AppPressor, so it's probably uh, you know like 1.0.0 or something like that. And then uh, for the app review information, if you have a login for your app or uh, something that the reviewer needs to do to see the functionality, make sure that you have a description of that here. Put your contact information in. You know, add an, an app, a login for the app for a demo account. Um, such as allowing someone to sign in and view uh, you know, membership protected content or whatever it is. That's about it. So you're going to save that. And then when, you're, uh, when your app is ready through AppPressor, you can upload the build. And then once the build is uploaded and processed, which takes a few hours, uh, then there's going to be a little plus sign right here. So you're going to go back in here after the build is uploaded and processed, click little plus sign to add the build, and then you can save it and submit for review. 
So uh, the same process applies if you wanted to do an update to your app, you would click um, adding a new version or platform, you would choose iOS, add a new version and it's going to have all the same information here where you can uh, change it if you like and then add a new build for the new version and submit it for review. Uh, remember that if you have in-app purchases, you are going to have to go over to the in-app purchase section, create the in-app purchases, and then make sure that those are uh, ready to submit. So that means that they have to be all filled out and they have to have information uh, like a screenshot attached to them. So that's iOS. Let's go over to Android. For Android, you are going to visit play.google.com forward slash apps forward slash publish. Uh, you can find that in our documentation. You will get to the Google Play console, go to all applications, and then click on create application. I'm going to give it a title. So again, we are giving this a description and a title. Um, you can upload your icon. The size is, is different for Google Play. It's 512 by 512. Screenshots, again, you can use the same ones that you used for iOS here. Um, fill out all these fields, select the application type and the category. You can add tags to it. You do also need to do this uh, content rating. I'll come back to that in a second, but make sure that all this information is filled out. Privacy policy, you do need that. Let's click on content rating. And this, you have to actually upload an APK before doing this. So uh, just be in touch with us and once we upload the APK, you can go through the content rating and basically that's just, you know, is there like gambling? Is it appropriate for children? Things like that. So let's go back to the store listing. Uh, you filled out all that stuff. And then the pricing and distribution, you're going to give it either free or, or paid and choose the countries just like you did for iOS. And then um, they have some, the content guidelines, you have to, uh, some of this stuff like you have to do it in order, you have to do the content rating first before you can save over here. So just make sure you kind of go through the steps as needed. Uh, when you go to the app content, so it says, let us know if it contains ads before you do this, um, which is going to be, I think, in the after you've uploaded the APK. And then same with Apple with the in-app purchases. You do need to have created those and have them here and have them ready to, um, ready to go. So again, we have to upload the APK first, which you can generate in AppPressor. So once you do that, uh, that should be enough, and then we can handle the rest. But if you're curious for app releases, what happens is you can uh, go to one of the tracks. So for Android, you have certain tracks like internal uh, alpha and beta. These allow you to send out test uh, APKs to some of your app users, but not to all of them. It can get a bit confusing, but production track is basically just getting it out there on the App Store. So you can do create release. And if you if you want to do this yourself, uh, you do need the APK. Otherwise, let us handle that with AppPressor. But that is how the releases work. Once you upload a new APK and release it out to production, that's what kind of goes out to all your users once your store listing is live. So if you have any questions about this stuff, uh, make sure to check out our documentation or shoot us an email.